Well, good morning, everyone. This is a great, exciting time for the city. As you know, this is really our growth area, north and northeast of the city, and this is where we really need some more coverage of police, of fire, and all of our public safety partners. And so we're really excited to do this groundbreaking today and get this show on the road. I'm sure that many of you who work in the departments are ready to see this happen as well. Is everybody ready? One, two, three. That's the skull. So that's the horn over the eye. That's a triceratops eye right there. So that's the left eye. That's the big horn coming to a point right there. And I'm trying to figure out this. I think this might be the lower jaw. Can't quite get the edge on it though. As soon as I got on site, I realized it was a pretty important dinosaur find, which are pretty unusual in the Denver area. And after cleaning up the site, it looks like part of the skull of a triceratops, a horned dinosaur, and maybe parts of the skeleton. Dinosaurs from the Denver area have been known for about 150 years, but most of Denver is covered by parking lots or houses, and so it's pretty unusual to get down to the original rock layers that Denver sits on. And so whenever a construction site like this gets to the right level, so up here in Thornton, it get, got right down into the rocks that predate the extinction of dinosaurs. And so right before the dinosaurs go extinct, you have things like T-Rex and Triceratops walking around the landscape. And so this construction site just hit the right spot at the right time. I'm really grateful to the city of Thornton and to Saunders for recognizing the importance of, of what they had and for asking DMNS to come in and help them um, recover it because this scientifically is really important for the state. Yeah, this is one of the showier pieces. You can see the horn, tip of the horn, other tip of the horn right here. What's really unusual is getting some of these sites reported. So a lot of times these will be plowed up and they won't be recognized. And we're really lucky in this case that it was recognized as fossils and we got the call and we're out here and we're able to salvage the, the site and actually collect these fossils. This is probably one of only three skulls of Triceratops found along the Front Range area. This, this is really unique and it's a really exciting scientific find for the state. And honestly, I think it's just really fun. I think this is the sort of stuff that helps bring Coloradans on the Front Range together and everybody can enjoy it. So. Thank you, Thornton and Saunders, for, for all your support of DMNS on this. They're letting non-experts go over there and dig. So yeah, it's just a really cool experience for everybody involved, and everybody's really excited, and it's, it's really palpable just what's going on right now. So it's a very cool thing for the city and our citizens, and I can't wait for them to be able to see more of it. So this is one of the ribs right here. And they said very clearly, do not get close to that, <laughs> because it's very, very fragile. So I'm just trying to break some of this down and see if we can find anything else. Once we recognized the fossil for what it was, that was a triceratops and it was part of a skull and the skeleton, um, it took several weeks of excavation and the site kept getting more and more complex through the three weeks that we were on the site. Um, a lot of pressure obviously trying to make sure that we're out of the way so that we, do, we didn't hold up the construction project itself. Um, the fossils were encased in plaster jackets, so it's a, a hard shell that we wrapped around the fossils, brought them back to the museum, and now we're on that next step, which is the preparation. So we've removed parts of that plaster field jacket, and we're now doing the really slow, laborious cleaning of the fossils. Every single day at the museum, visitors inquire, you know, what's going on with the Thornton Triceratops, um, tell us about the discovery of the dinosaur, so they're really intrigued and really interested. It's being worked on by volunteers in our fossil prep lab, so they're working to remove the sediment and stabilize the fossil, uh, which will ultimately be accessioned as part of our collection, which will be used for research or be put on exhibit in the museum. It's really cool to be able to go out and dig at a quarry and follow the fossil from the site of discovery all the way through the end of the process where it'll ultimately uh, end up in the museum as part of our collection. So that's always exciting. During the course of your career, there are landmark finds that you kind of measure your career by. And this is definitely going to be one of those landmarks that I'll remember for the rest of my career. And I think the city of Thornton will remember this forever. Well, I think 
we think of this as being done, and it's really just beginning. The, the research and the public outreach, I think that'll go on for many, many more years. And so I'm really lucky to be here for the beginning, and hopefully I'll be here through the whole process of the Thornton Triceratops.